it's time for them B-sides, huh? The fuck do you mean episode 97? The I thought we were do done! No, we're not we're not done yet. I mean what? you're insist you're insisting this shit. Don't you act surprised <laughs> on me, motherfucker. This is the B-sides. So yeah, I decided to, on my own time, with the help of an auto-clicker and looking at something else Damn while it was happening, uh, I got through the entire fifth case again on the other side from letting Pearl get away. And I have a few save points. That way is basically played out the same way, just with Obadiah being more of a dick. As it should be. And I have a few save points of uh, major differences, and then I got up to the end of case five and saved it there, and I don't know what's going to happen after so that point. We save hopping and then going in blind. Yeah. Semi blind. We're going to be save hopping until the end of the walkthrough for case five. So, yeah. So, yeah. <sighs> Let us continue. There are many unsolved questions. You simply will not have any answers for them. This is whenever... Uh, this is right after he told you about the end of MN6, and he's right. trying to get you to throw the case. Right. Okay. But what if I do have the answers? Do you want men to rest put away, or don't you? The man killed three men by his own hand in trying to assassinate Miss Faith. Mr. Jameson was butchered, right? Butchered. That beast took a shovel and bashed it into his skull until we couldn't recognize him. Mr. Jameson, who only ever wanted to help a little child and a falsely accused man. I cannot let his killer go free. You're doing just what I did. What? I decided to defend him because I was overly emotional and thought I could fix things. Menderes is evil, I have no arguments there. When you first told me the family was involved, I thought of what he almost did to Maya. My only thought was wanting to see him burn. But I don't think that's what Jimmy died for. Abusing our roles? Hiding facts from the jury? This isn't right. And it isn't like you, either. You're a good man despite the gruff exterior. You know something's wrong with this. Deep down, you realize it, don't you? Don't you? You bloody hypocrite. Damn. What? You, you've thrown a case just like I described. And not even a week ago, you let an innocent woman take the place of a shooter. Doesn't Menderes deserve prison more than Sister Iris? That's exactly why I can't do it. Oh, go to hell, right? He want to choose now to go all noble on me now? I denied knowing Pearl's motives so that a suffering girl could have some sort of respite. I did it to help her. I will not do the same thing for revenge. I made a promise to my daughter. I'll sooner quit than have her see me sink this low. Ha! That's what you're worried about? If you won't help me finish this, then I'll do it by myself. Williamson, listen to yourself. No, you listen to me. That man escaped me once. He will not do it again. People have died because of, him, of my mistake. I thought you would do the right thing, but clearly I was mistaken. Out. Get out of here. Okay. I'll go. Damn, son. And then here we get the thing about Trucy. So that was the first one that I saw. The second one, I kind of screwed up on. Oh, because no. I didn't realize there was something different happening until after I was a few text boxes in. <laughs> uh, whoops. So, at this point, like, this is right after we, so we told Menderes that we would quit, and this is the the next scene after that where we're in the courthouse uh -huh. so obadiah came over and said asked if i would reconsider and then told menderes that i threw a case before and now menderes doesn't trust me all right 
Williamson, get out! Now! Hmm. See you soon. This is not good. Mr. Menderes, look, what Williamson was talking about was... Stick a sock in it, you fraud. I'll bet you and Williamson blackmailed all the other attorneys so it would be you here. All just to get revenge for your precious Miss Faye. You're pathetic, and if I somehow make it out of this alive, you're a dead man. You hear me? An honest-to-God dead man. I... I didn't... Shut the hell up. Say one more word and I'll kill you myself. That could have gone better. Everyone is just so combative. Yeah, you see, it was an hour difference, so I couldn't just go back. I would have to go back <laughs> yeah. through another hour of this, and I didn't feel like it, okay? <laughs> and that brings us to where we are. Okay. The big thing. Well, uh, I wouldn't have imagined it, but that girl just cleared the defendant. This is right after Jane was taken off the stand. Oh, God. He couldn't possibly have stabbed Miss Porter, and if her killer also killed Mr. Black. Oh, I just can't think of who it might be. One's case must always adapt to changing circumstances. As new information comes to light, the truth is slowly revealed. It is clear to me that Ms. Hood's D-Killer is not the defendant. So, is that it? No! The suspect killed neither Ms. Porter nor Black. I can see that now. But I have irrefutable proof he murdered Mr. Jameson. That's not possible. We know Jimmy and Mr. Black had the same killer. Do we? Do we really? Up until now, we've come to that conclusion merely from the fact they were buried together. The idea relied on supposition and inconclusive testimony, but nothing substantial. Ergo, it is entirely possible there were separate kills. You're gonna change your stance this late? We've been sure of it from the very beginning. You leave me no choice. If you won't give me two counts of murder, I will settle for one. But Francisco Menderes will not, cannot, be found innocent. I will not give up on that verdict. All right, welcome the great back bear. to the Great Bear. The D killer whom Miss Hood met was one of Miss uh, huh, Menderes's henchmen. Mister Black was killed as a hit job on orders from his boss. Miss Porter was likewise assassinated in order to keep her silent. Only Stephen Jameson was murdered by Menderes himself. However, the shovel and location of the body prove he knew about Mr. Black. As mastermind, all of the deaths are still on his head. You can no, bring up the walkthrough because I don't feel like figuring this out. <laughs> you think it was one of his henchmen? And why not? The defendant has the perfect motive for all three murders. But why should he bother to get his hands dirty? He's the Rivales Dawn. And this henchman? Who do you think it was? Maybe we'll find that out. Maybe we won't. My case is against the suspect. I have two charges of murder to bring against him. As long as we have one, he goes away. The murder of Mr. Jameson is quite clearly his doing. Everything else is explained by a thug carrying out the rest of his dirty work. You said you had proof for his theory? For this theory? It is not a theory, Your Honor. I oh Here we go. I took the time to peruse the messages sent by the Rivales members on Ace Fan Club. Uh, but that was taken down. <laughs> no. Uh, no, every, all of the data was destroyed. No. What? We learned in case three that all the data was no. destroyed by Togamera. No. What? Didn't. You will recall that they used the site to coordinate their actions. 
The court will please take the time to read through. Good. You cut out. You cut out at read through. The court. Okay. The court will please take the time to read through this tidbit that I discovered. God. Virgil Black is dead? That's a direct confession. Indeed it is. You will notice he places the blame on another person who had acted in on his instructions. The next part is equally convicting. Jameson? He talked about killing Jimmy? Himself. He said he'd do it himself. As if we needed any more proof he'd done that. In fact, all three murders can be seen referenced in this dialogue. This all came from the website. Since Agent Webb's case, I believe Menderez was our mystery user. Is nobody gonna bring this up? Nope, apparently not. Okay. This should confirm his identity. Do you have the IP address? Can you prove he sent that message? I did not bother with the IP log. At the very least, this shows there were two killers. That is all I need. We already have his fingerprints on the shovel and a myriad more to tie him to the crimes. It was him. Dag Abbott, you don't know where to let go. Nor will I ever. Not after how you mutilated that man like an animal. I will not stop until I see you get the justice you deserve. Oh, I believe that's enough arguing. We must hear the defense's rebuttal. Mr. Wright, I believe you may now address the prosecution's statement. Now, without further ado... Oh, God. Oh, Waters. Waters. Hold up. There's been a development I need to talk to the defense. Oh, I need to talk to the defense. Something's come up. Detective, you've interrupted us. Is it important? Can you not tell it to the court? No. What I have is between me and him. <coughs> okay. Dying. You were half judged there. <laughs> yes, it's a private matter. Yes, it's relevant. It's important that we talk about it right now. If it is so urgent, you can just tell us now. I was about to finish this case. Yeah? Well, can wait for five minutes. Chill, alright? Your Honor, right? Uh, right and I will just slip into the lobby for a moment. We'll be back before you know it. You seem nervous. If it's about the case, and yes, we will go into recess. How is this going to end up? I have no idea. Everybody be back in here as soon as possible. What's wrong with Waters? He stopped the trial just to talk to me? It must be serious. I'm worried about what it might be. You're not questioning anything about the paper? <laughs> Mystery paper? <laughs> the paper he just, you know... The paper that roughly. physically should not exist because yeah. ever, all of the data of the website was destroyed? Yeah. Is everybody in this freaking universe an idiot? Like, unless that's a thing that's going to be happening later and somebody's going to bring it up and that's how Obadiah's going to lose, that's how we're going to win. It's forged evidence. I don't know. What's wrong, Waters? Why'd you need me? I've got something for you. Here, a present from Gumshoe. They pulled the thing apart and dug up all its files. Recorded the murder. There was a whole conversation and everything. Oh, you got it. This will definitely be useful, thank you. Will it? <laughs> right. It shows she was killed over Jameson's bottle thing. Check the re recording on there and you'll see what I mean. You don't seem happy about it. <laughs> because right now, boss is spewing a bunch of hooey. <laughs> yeah, especially now. <laughs> Why the heck do you think I pulled you aside by yourself? What do you mean? Because that little thing proves her killer was there at Jameson's murder. He was there to get her bottle and she died keeping it hidden. You get it? Boss is wrong. Menderes didn't do it. 
This was all worth it. It won't be if you let Mr. Williamson get his way. He's gonna chase this guy till the cows come home and you know it. Help me, will you? Andres didn't stab Gladys. Whoever did kill Jameson, and Black too from the sound of it, and Cody, I mean, wait, what? If Menderes didn't, then who's left? <laughs> Dryson! <laughs> no, shush, that didn't happen, not yet at least. <laughs> Miss Von Karm and I have been looking over those notes you made. What did you find? No, I was, ta I was talking to Trucy, not you! Not a whole lot, some of it was pretty vague. We knew most of it already. She's in the other lobby, I think. The whole thing was really last minute. You can verify everything Trucy heard? I guess most of it. We do have reason to think Togamera never pulled the trigger on the kid. Are you sure on that? Sure? No. Chief said he doesn't said he doesn't remember him entering the records room. But there's always a chance that he snuck in somehow. Though there were parts in that diary that you could never really prove either way. We'd let you know if we'd found anything really important, you know? Hmm. Well, thanks. Oh, yeah. One last thing. Yes? You've got one more piece of evidence coming your way. Had it brought in especially for you. Okay, let's see it. I'll let her hand it to yourself. She came all the way here to do it. She? Hi, Nick. Give me my Magatama again. No. Yeah. Fine. Maya. I can't just... What? I can't just shit one out, Nick. I mean, how, how am I supposed to know how you get them? <laughs> Maya, you're here. Oh, did you find it? Oh, the letter. Find it? Find what? I brought a letter somebody sent me before the reunion. It was about... Well, it was about her. I think it was from Rev the Rivales. About Pearl? Yes. The writer made threats about me and her. I don't know why, but they really didn't want her returning. That was why Kurain happened, and why and was why everything happened. Are you okay? No. <laughs> well, the good news is I don't believe this was from Menderes. You don't? He was home free after MN6. Why would he care if anybody found Pearl? Remember yesterday when we spoke to him? No. He couldn't have cared less if he if we proved he murdered Luciano. Hmm. Well, they might not buy it in the trial, but it works for me. Who else would send it? That's the question we ought to be asking. Who and why? So, how are you dealing with... with what happened? <laughs> it's too early to tell. I didn't want to come back. I wish I could just close my eyes and make it all go away. But that wouldn't change anything. It would just make it worse. She's in danger. She still is. Maybe not more than ever. Trucy thinks we can find whoever sent me that letter. Well, it's a long shot. Maybe not. Nothing will happen to Pearl. Nothing. And Maya, for what it's worth, I'm sorry. I did what I thought was right. I'd do it again if I had to. That doesn't make it hurt any less. I know I can never take away that pain. But I didn't have a choice. It was either that or... or... Who am I kidding? I wish I could go back and erase everything. Nick, I don't blame you. And I know that she doesn't either. Ah! Forgot about this screen. <laughs> Phoenix just do. looks pissed. Phoenix looks like I don't know. I think and I maybe... said it. I think I said this last time, but he looks like he's hard rolling his R's. <laughs> he did. What up? None of us do. We understand what you're going through. We're all sad, and we need to be there for each other. We'll work through it. I'm having trouble coming to terms myself, but there's nothing to be sorry for. Things might not ever be the same, but we'll figure it out and grow from it. Become better people. And we'll find a way to cope. Together. What about Pearl? 
I don't know. I don't even know if we'll ever see her again. But even uh, if we never do, I know I still love her, and I'll do anything to protect her. And I know you would too. <laughs> Let's solve this case, the three of us. Probably not on this route. <laughs> Thank you, you two. I'll make things right. At the very end, it's Iris and the thing, and not her. <laughs> no, we'll make things right. That, that, that wasn't the right inflection in the slightest, <laughs> but okay. It's fine. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Just freaking Obadiah's theme starts playing. <laughs> Is the defense ready? We are, Your Honor. Good. What was it the detective wanted to tell you? He gave me a note that was sent to Maya Fey. We think it might be from the Ravala's family. Hmm, strange. Is that it? All in due time, Your Honor. You aren't going to tell them about the bug. Not yet. Waters called me aside because he was nervous. Nervous about Williamson. I think this bug might be coming in handy sooner rather than later. <laughs> He gave you nothing else? If he did, then we should see it. I have no intention of hiding evidence from the court. I need to take a look at your argument again first, then we'll decide how I show it. Cheeky. I'm a little on edge, too. Waters sensed something was wrong. Something's very wrong. Alright, what am I presenting here? Because right. I don't feel really like figuring it out. You present the recording bug at the third statement. Okay. I also learned you can just click this, and it it doesn't advance anything. Yeah. Like it, like I, you won't accidentally click something on this screen. Yeah. Close, but no cigar. Miss Porter was killed for a bottle she was hiding in her office. The MN6 vial? How would you know that? She was keeping it in her office. We had to find it ourselves. And Detective Waters just showed up with a recording proving the killer was after it. He did what? A recording? Of her murder? Wow, well, we'll have to listen to that at once. Please play it for the court. I'm not doing the voice. <laughs> Stay back! I'm not afraid to lose it! Give me the bottle. Wait, that's supposed to be me. Oh well. <laughs> what bottle? What bottle is it, Zuck? I won't ask again. And if I do give it to you, I'm sure you're just gonna let me walk away. No. No, you have a good point. You have no incentive to give it up. But I'm on a tight schedule, you see. And I'm not, and not above prying it from your cold, dead hands. Help! Some of the help! Shwing! Sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> yes, that was certainly the victim's voice, but who Again, was that other? hard to mistake it. <laughs> Somebody after the bottle. They thought she might have it after her affiliation with Mr. Jameson was revealed. Why? Why? Whatever. And that's why she died. I'm glad you figured this out for me. In fact, it proves my earlier theory. The suspect was found with a photo of the same bottle. Therefore, we know the reason he had his hitman kill him. Jimmy and Porter were both killed for the bottle, but not like that. Oh, really? And why is that? Menderes has been in jail for the past several days. The only contact he would have had with the outside world would have been through a visitor. That's the only way he could have communicated his orders to kill Miss Porter. Yes? And why should that matter? Menderes wouldn't give orders in person. So what, now it's Trucy's notes? Yeah. We've recently heard from several of Menderes' soldiers or allies. Raphael Donatello, Meredith Fay, Agent, Agent, Agent Togamera. They all said the same thing. Menderes doesn't talk business in person. Well, 
he wouldn't have had a choice now, would he? He was in jail. All alternate options were out of the question. Well, I guess the police could tell us. After all, even I wasn't able to see him until the day of the trial. Security around this guy's tighter than ever. They wouldn't let some random mobster in. How did your secret henchman know about the bottle, prosecutor? Menderes only saw the photo recently, the night he was arrested. How did he know Miss Porter might have it? How would he know any of this if he hadn't been in contact with Menderes? The only way to know would, have, would be if he had been there. This third-party eavesdrop on Menderes and Jimmy while they talked about the vial. And then after Miss Porter chased off the only other witness, the true killer stepped in and beat him to death with the shovel. That would mean that the same person really did kill all three people. It would. It goes completely against the prosecution's narrative. But we know the defendant couldn't have coordinated Miss Porter's murder with anyone. And the only way to know about the MN6 vial would have to have been there at the scene. Perhaps this other man witnessed Mr. Jameson's death, but that doesn't mean he killed him. We still have evidence pointing against Menderes. We've already had a witness talk about this murder. She never mentioned anyone but the victim or killer. But she did hear a noise behind her, which we dismissed. She chased Menderes away and came back to find Jimmy dead. You have no idea who this person might have been. If I don't, then it's because you've been misleading me the whole way! Prosecutor, you claim to value the truth, but the reality is you couldn't care less! How dare you! I'm not wrong! You manipulated me at Kurain, you manipulated me here! You did your very best to hide Menderes' identity from me, even going so far as to have us not say it during the trial! You asked me to forfeit the case yesterday! Hmm. Wait, he did what? No, D don't listen to him. Right in your office, you tried to shame me into cooperating. But now look where we are, Williamson. You're all alone in this witch hunt. Because Menderes didn't kill anyone, and I see that now. There's only one logical path we can follow, and nothing you say matches up. Not even that message log you brought in. Th the message came from Ace Fan Club. What, what do you mean? Is he really gonna do it? Yeah, he's gonna do it. It doesn't feel like it... Oh, it does feel like it doesn't belong. But what does it all mean? Mr. Wright, I'm so confused. Williamson wants to get Menderes convicted no matter the cost. Half the problems we've had have been his fault. You hear that? It's your fault things are so muddy! No. I'm not the one at fault. It's not as if I had a choice. You did just as much as I did last time. But you chose poorly, Williamson, and I'm disappointed in you. D disappointed What has he done? He did something I never would have imagined from him. After all he's preached, after the moral high ground he's tried to flaunt, he forged that online message. Harder! Harder! Mr. Williamson, this had better not be true. Please, tell me it isn't. It's true. I honestly expected us to just lose the case whenever he presented that. Yeah? I didn't think this would actually work out. Yeah? You let me down, Williamson. I thought you might have been a decent prosecutor, but it turns out you're no better than all the rest. Say that to Edgeworth and, <laughs> and Von Karma and... <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I didn't have a choice in the matter. You refused to help me. I was backed into a corner, forced to work by myself. It wouldn't have been like this if you'd given me a leg to stand on. The truth should have been plainly obvious, but you couldn't see it. You're not throwing this on me. I'm not the one who forged evidence. Menderes is guilty. He already framed one innocent man for his crimes. Uh, no, Gavin did. <laughs> and also, he didn't kill anybody. 
And Mr. Jameson, did you see what he did to him? How could I let him escape when I was so close? Do you think that Jimmy would want to see you like this? This wasn't the mentor he looked up to. Mr. Jameson is dead. It doesn't matter what he wants anymore. And he's dead because of that brute I got you to defend. You should have got someone else then. Yeah. Idiot. Should've got Apollo. <laughs> That man deserves no less than the death sentence. But now he'll get away with everything because of you. Jimmy's killer isn't going to escape. He wanted us to have a chance, that's why he did what he did. Finding the true villain meant enough to him that he would sacrifice his own life. He knew that people were going to continue to die. Maybe even you. What? They threatened my life and yours after Miss Porter was found. The photos with the red X's? There were two, just for us. Jimmy knew things would go that route eventually. He warned me in the lobby after the Cool Rain trial. Miss Porter did too. They both did. What did they tell you? It doesn't matter. Nothing matters now. Menderes will get away with murder again, thanks to you. I was the only one willing to do what had to be done. But none of it matters. None of it mattered in the end. Under the circumstances, and you're the trial is planned. Every person in this room is aware of the punishment for evidence forgery. In light of your actions, I have no choice but to dismiss you as prosecutor of this case. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee will decide what to do with you. So I assume we're just going to switch to Von Karma. Or it's just going to end here. Or it's just going to end. Understood. What happens now? If Ms. Von Karma is available, we can have her take over. Otherwise, we'll have to postpone the trial. I heard she was in the courthouse. We should be able to find her. Hmm. That would be preferable. Bailiff, please see to it. Yes, Your Honor. Williamson? <laughs>